Access to healthcare is critical to the socio-economic development of every community and this is what the Anglo Gold Ashanti Health Foundation, AGAV, and the Anglo Gold Ashanti Malaria Control Limited, Agamal, is positioned for. Good health and well-being feature strongly in the Anglo Gold Ashanti Ghana Social Management Plan, which is to address pertinent social and economic issues within the operational areas of the mine. The starting point of our commitment to contributing to improving the health of the people in and around Obuasi is the decision we took to set up the AGA hospital as a foundation which provides healthcare to everyone in Obuasi. Uh, normally when somebody hears about um, a hospital like AGA Health Foundation, they assume that it's for the mind. But in our situation, um, the people that the hospital serves uh, obviously goes far beyond the mind. About 80% of outpatients at the Agav Hospital are from the mine's host communities. I am a diabetic and hypertensivity. I am a diabetic. 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 If this hospital were to make full cost recovery, they will be taking so much from the community, but we do operate it with that model. We extend services to the community, both in terms of outpatient and inpatient, and even manage referrals for the community. The Mines Emergency Health Response support through the establishment of the intensive care unit at the Aga Health Foundation, Agav, has strengthened the emergency health care capabilities in and around Obwasi. That is a perfuser, an infusion pump, we have uh, a ventilator, one at the back here, the other in that cubicle, then a transport ventilator there. So they are very unique. They are not just ordinary machines. These are life-saving hot machines. There are a couple of lives we've been able to save since the ICU uh, started working. Additionally, maternity walls constructed for Aga Health Foundation and the Obwasi Government Hospital have increased access to quality maternal care in and around Obwasi. We needed to increase it so that we can get most of the patients coming in to be on beds so that we don't start the floor bed syndrome. This is an investment we made even before the mine commenced production under the redevelopment. That, that shows the level of priority or importance we attach uh, to some of these things. Through the indoor residual spraying by Anglo Gold Ashanti Malaria Control Limited, Agamal, at least 80% of the Obwasi municipality and Obwasi Eats district populations are protected from malaria and contributes to the reduction of overall malaria morbidity and mortality in Ghana. Through our support and the collaboration with Global Fund, the Malaria Control Program is implementing the program in the uh, most malaria endemic regions in Ghana, um, in especially in the northern part of Ghana. When we started intervention in Upper West, malaria prevalence was around 52%. Currently, as we speak, we've been able to come down to around 11%. We are also spraying almost all the prison facilities uh, in Ghana and then the, the some of uh, educational establishment as well. And this has gone a long way to reduce uh, malaria incident and its associated impact on the population in this area. Only 4% of all cases reporting to the outpatient department, OPD, of all health facilities is malaria related, an attestation of the effectiveness of the IRS program. Additionally, through the Keeping Obwasi Clean campaign, Sanitary conditions in Obwase have improved. We basically provide education and also help with community cleaning. The Obwase mine also through its Agamal IRS program creates direct employment for 1,275 community members who are engaged as spray operators, drivers, supervisors, community mobilizers and entomology specialists. In 2020, the mine recorded its first COVID-19 case. Both the Anglo Gold Ashanti Health Foundation, Agav, 
and the Anglo Gold Ashanti Malaria Control Limited Agamal played critical roles in rolling out interventions to curb the spread of COVID-19. Anglo Gold Ashanti set up a crisis management committee that I was part of, and also Agaf supported that committee with two doctors and looking at in terms of managing the uh, district and municipal health, these two doctors played a critical role. We don't really have um, any huge facility in Obuase minus us, so we became a referral point when it comes to such concerns. We prepared towards that in buying of our PPEs and then training of our staff. We needed to space our patients, we needed to um, handle each patient individually, even though we were doing that, but still we needed to really screen our patients and all that before we handled them. Then again, we had to split the, uh, the hospital workers into teams. Basically because our very first death case affected about 13 health workers, which almost brought one unit to a halt. So we had to do readjustments. Through collaborations with other stakeholders, over 20 health facilities were sprayed daily and all markers within the mine's host communities were also sprayed by Agamal on a bi-weekly basis. All the markets in Obuase, we disinfected it twice in a week. During the week, we had one disinfection. Weekend, we sweep and we disinfect. Two hundred and five boxes of hand sanitizers, four hundred and sixty units of buckets fixed with taps, six fifty pieces of nose mask, and two mini boxes of hand gloves were donated to host communities and stakeholders. Omo braye tissues, omo braye niema bebreya. Even with the isolation centers where we kept those who were tested positive, AGA for the first three months paid for the cost of the isolation centers. To ensure key information on COVID-19 gets to the people, Aside the education through the radio and information centers in advance, 3,000 copies of COVID education posters were donated to basic schools and religious bodies in Obwase. We did set up a control room to help manage the COVID-19 from a central point to the benefit of not only the mine, but the community at large as well. In this place, what we do is to control the information to be a credible source of information, to control what goes out there, to make sure that we can reach people as control rooms. We have three telephones with our hotlines. People call in, we receive the call, we get to understand what you are complaining about, and if we need to send a team to your place, we do so. Also, five giant double phase billboards in both English and three languages have been mounted at strategic locations in Obwase to serve as constant reminders. To help with a good turnaround time, aside the testing in Obwase, the Aga Health Foundation was funded to construct an intensive care unit, which is one of the best in the region and the country. These are interventions and things that we would continue to do well beyond uh, this initial three-year social management plan. So you can reasonably expect that when we launch or we present the next phase of our social management plan beyond 2021, Health will continue to be a key pillar, a key aspect of that social management plan. Anglo Gold Ashanti Ghana is well positioned and with the continuous support of its stakeholders will ensure health in all its host communities are better off. For Anglo Gold Ashanti haven't been there. <laughs>